Yo, what is up gamers? It is Small back again with another Epic 7 video for you guys today. And today I'm going to be just giving out some sample Wyvern 13 compositions that you can be running for your team. I think this is a very, very good topic to talk about because a lot of new players have been coming into my stream asking about the team comps for Wyvern. And I tried to compile, in my opinion, the best team comps you can use with the most easy to access characters in the game for you guys. Now, before I get started with this video though, guys, make sure you guys are subscribed to my channel if you guys aren't already. We finally passed 10k subscribers, guys. Let's get to 10 million, right? So make sure you guys hit that subscribe button to get updates when I release videos like this, and also to get updates when I'm live streaming on YouTube because we have been live streaming a lot recently, talking about life, Epic 7, other games. It's just a real chill time, and I really hope to see you guys there, especially some new faces, right? But yeah, let's get started, guys. So I actually organized the teams because... I'm a great content creator, I come prepared, right? Kind of. Um, but if you scroll down here, I have six, five sample comps for you guys, not six. So the first one is probably going to be the best free-to-play composition that you can run in the game. Now starting off, we have Angelica in the front, and then we have Sigrid as your main DPSer. She's also going to apply a lot of debuffs. She's technically free-to-play because you can pick her up from the selective summon if you re-rolled for her. Um, you really want to use her because she's super strong. She can DPS and debuff by herself. And then alongside her, we have two defense breakers. We have Mui and Furious. So Furious is really nice because he has that crit chance up, which will lower the gear requirements of your units. Also has a 100% crit chance. And if he's the fastest on your team, he can actually keep defense break on the boss like 80% of the time. Then we have Mui in case your Furious misses defense break. And Mui can also defense break. He also supplies a lot of debuffs, which is really nice for with Sigurd because Sigurd's S3 will do more damage with more debuffs on the boss so it scales really well and also he has a CR push for his team if your entire team is ice meaning that you can also lower the speed requirements of your DPS units by a fair bit meaning you can run like 140 150 speed on your DPS with Furious being a little bit faster of course and not have to worry too much about crit chance either because they have Furious as well also Mui is super broken because he can apply decreased attack on the boss which will make your Angelica more tankier, even though she probably won't have problems already because you're probably landing three debuffs on the boss to decrease the damage. Mui just gives you that extra safety net. Now, don't look at my levels, guys, on my units. My Mui is level 5, I know. It's because I've never had to use him because I already had a one-shot team running when he got released. But in general, guys, you can keep everything at 5 stars besides your tank. In this case, Angelica needs to be 6 stars, level 60 fully awakened, uh, with some Mola Gore invested. Um, but your other DPS units, Cigarette, Mui, and Furious, you can keep at 5 stars. If I had to recommend one unit to 6 star, though, it'd be Cigarette. She does the bulk of your damage. So if you 6 star her, you also get crit damage in her last star awakening, I believe. So just 6 starring will make your runs a lot faster. This comp is very free to play. The only hard part is actually having the time to reroll for Cigarette, although it doesn't really take too long, guys. And also getting lucky and pulling for Mui. By the time you get to Wyvern, you might not have Mui unlocked. You know, so, and we'll talk about team comps if you don't have Mui as well later down the line. So next we have, right here, another team comp, right? So we have General Purgis, Alexa, Furious, and Sigurd. So this is like the old school, super fast team. Even now, technically, this is the fastest team that's not a one-shot for Wyvern, 13. Um, so what it does is you have General Purgis go first, ideally, on the first wave. So he does AoE damage and then gives attack buff to everyone and everyone gets their turns off in the, in the turn cycle, right? And then they try to kill the first wave as fast as possible because they're all single target, right? General Purgis will also, um, what's it called? CR pushes team on the boss when he's getting hit three times, lowering the speed requirements of his team. You have Furious there to crit chance buff and do a defense break. And Alexa's single target damage is crazy. Usually you turn her with skills off and give her your best gear that's damage. Um, and also Sigurd is there to also do a lot of damage as well while also debuffing the boss. This was like the old school team and the reason why you run G Purge here is because you don't have room for Mui. Because although Mui does make your runs more consistent, Alexa technically does a lot more damage. Um, but if you want to run this team because you didn't pull Mui, you can. Um, just make sure you slot an Angelica in the front. And I would recommend taking out Alexa for Mui once you pull Mui. But until you get Mui, you can use Alexa as a substitute. And General Purge is here because it is the ideal comp without running a Mui. But if you don't have Mui, it's, or, um, if you don't have General Purge, you can just run Angelica here instead. And it should be just fine. And next, we have the super... Super free to play comp, where you don't have to rely on anyone. It's kind of the same case though with Mui, um, but if you don't pull a Mui, but you end up pulling a Misty Chain, you can actually run this team comp. This is actually the team comp I ran when I first started playing Epic Seven. Maybe not first, but uh, actually yeah, when I first started playing Epic Seven. Let me tell you, 
this team comp works guys but try to avoid this if possible my win rate was like 50 percent or 40 percent or something even when i had good gear it's just really hard especially if you don't have song of stars and you're furious you're gonna really struggle with debuffs with this comp the damage is fine and your tank will survive because misty chain's healing it's just that the debuffs are gonna be super hard to stick on the boss and the boss is gonna go crazy and start one-shotting your dps so i would recommend staying away, staying away from this team comp but if you have to run a team comp like this because this is all you can scrap together it will work just keep in mind that your runs will not be as consistent as the other teams so yeah you can five star your misty chain or whatever but once you get a mui or a Sigur or a Clarissa, I would recommend swapping Misty Chain out for one of those units ASAP because yeah, Misty Chain is just not a great unit for Wyvern anymore. And then next we have another comp. So this is basically the same thing as the first comp that I showed you, except that instead of Sigur, we have Clarissa. So if you guys messed up your selective summons and didn't pull Sigur, it's fine. If you get lucky and pull a Clarissa here, you can just swap her in. It's basically the same thing. It's just that your damage on the boss will be a little lower, but your damage on the first wave will be pretty nice. What I recommend is having your Mui go before your Clarissa, right? So you have Furious go first, crit chance buff, then you have your Mui go, S3 and try to defense break everyone, and then your Clarissa S3s to try to one-shot the first wave. That will make your run super fast, or at least get very close to one-shotting if you can. Um, yeah, this will make your, run your first wave really quick. Just keep in mind, on the boss though, your damage will be a little low, so you might want to um, run like attack set or crit damage set from Nixie Sanctum on your Clarissa or Mui because, yeah, your damage is not that high. You're missing Secret and Alexa. So your damage is not going to be that great for the boss, but it's still a very, very good comp. You have so many debuffs. Um, it's just that Sigurd is better than Clarissa because Sigurd does more damage. And yeah, she scales better with debuffs as well from her S3, right? And then next we have another team comp. So this is like another free-to-play comp, right? Instead of you missing out on... Um, what I'm trying to say. This is what happens when you miss out on Sigurd from Selective Summon and you don't pull Mui, but you get a Clarissa somehow from 4-star summons. It is possible, right? This is also a very good team comp. You can always run this one. Now, if you have a general Purgis, you can run him in the front. It's actually better. But if you're missing out on Mui and Sigurd and you have um, Clarissa, you can run this team comp. This is actually one of the best free-to-play comps in the game before Mui came out. I'd say like the best was probably Sigurd, Alexa, and Furious, um, or you know this one here, Clarissa, F Alexa, Furious. Now, this comp is very good because, like I said, a lot of debuffs, and you have the damage from Alexa to actually do damage to the boss, and you have Clarissa S3 to deal with the first wave, so very, very good comp. Now, keep in mind, guys, I don't have Seaside Bologna in any of these teams, if you guys look. If you guys have a Seaside Bologna because you played during that time, you guys probably don't need this video because you have your Wyvern team running. But if you're wondering who you can slot in SSB for, you can slot her in the first team for probably Sigurd here, and it'll work fine um, if you don't have Sigurd. If for the second team, number one, you can slaughter in for Alexa, and it's very, very good. You have a lot of debuffs. For the number two team, you can slaughter in for Misty Chain, very strong as well. For number three team, you slaughter in for Clarissa. And then number four team, you will slaughter in for Alexa here. Now, keep in mind, I did not include SSB in any of these videos or any limited units because I assume that you guys don't have them. But if you guys do, I'm sure you guys can slot in one or two units. Just make sure you have that defense breaker. Make sure, Just pretty much make sure you run Furious. He's broken. Um, if you have Mui, run Mui, he's broken. And then your third slot, you can run, you know, Sigurd, Clarissa, Alexa, SSB, whatever you want, whatever you have and what you want to use there, and it should be fine. Just keep in mind, if you're using Mui, guys, you need an ice tank. And if you're not using Mui, you want to run General Purchase. I hope this video helped you guys out, guys. I know it's a quick video, but a lot of people have been asking lately the best team comps, and I just decided to give some sample comps for you guys out there. If you guys are missing one or two units, it's fine. Try to use... You know, you can use your brain a little and try to figure out teams that work. There are a lot of teams besides the ones I showed you guys that actually work well. And just keep, just let me know in the comments down below what team comps you use. Try to help, help the other players out there that are very curious about what team comps to use if they're lacking some units. And as always, guys, thanks for supporting my channel and watching this video, guys. I'll be back with another video soon. See you later.